Hello everyone, I'm back with another video on my rooted nook color with the CM7. Right now I am running nightly 87. I believe in one of my last videos I was still in the 30s, something like that. So it's been quite a while since I've made a video on this. That's simply because nothing has really changed. A CM7 has gotten so stable, I haven't really needed to mess with anything and I've been happy with the way it, the way it is. However, there are a couple new features I would like to show you, a couple new ideas I can give you. Again, I'm not really going to tell you how to do everything. Um, you kind of have to figure that out with our friend called Google. It's pretty easy. Um, but just a couple ideas if you have one of these, what you can do. Now, if you saw any of my old videos, I was running the paid version of ADW Launcher. I still like that. I still use that for my phone. However, um, I kind of switched to Zeme Launcher, which I believe in one of the comments down here um, in a prior video someone once told me to do kind of told me they didn't like ADW well you know what I like ADW but I think I do like Zeme better in fact one thing I like about it is you can put as many icons down here with ADW and Launcher Pro at least last time I used Launcher Pro you're limited to four but with a screen this big you can do as many as you want now I only use three plus the drawer um, but it gives you more options I also like it because I think it's slightly speedier or it's um, not laggy at all. There are less options, but I kind of like the minimalistic thing to do. It keeps in the preferences. It's very easy to just find what I need to do with Zeme. So that's really showing Zeme, not the Nook, but Zeme on the Nook, I think, is is a winner. So is ADW, if that rocks your boat, floats your boat, whatever the phrase is. Um, so there's, there's that. Second of all, um, there's Netflix. There you go. I got this, let's see here, um, I got this off of one of the blogs, if you want this, go to Droid Life, actually Google Droid Life Netflix, you should get the APK file, download it, that's how you're going to get a working Netflix. Now, it is really slow to load up, but it works well, video is now working, um, let me just hit numbers, i never seen that show, but let's use that as an example. Sometimes the quality is bad for about like 30 seconds while the buffer is in. Sometimes the voices are off. Um, so that you just have to restart it. It's in like double speed and they sound like squirrels for some reason. But hey, if you use this before, it would not even work. So I don't know what's going on. Sometimes you just have to restart it. Uh, it does, Netflix works fine in the nook sure there's another video that can show you that, a YouTube video that is, but there you go. If you want that, go to Droid Life's blog, and you'll get Netflix. And hopefully yours won't sound like the chipmunks. Um, since I've done my last video, the Nook app has been updated. They've actually updated to any tablet 7 inches or bigger, so this is a 7 inch screen. So it's, it lines up a lot better than the phone version. If you have the Nook app on your phone, it still looks like it used to. Um, but it knows on a 7-inch screen or anything bigger than that, the honeycomb tablets, it now looks better. It supports magazines, um, newspapers. The shop looks a little bit better. And um, it's it's a lot nicer because, unfortunately, if you put CM7 on the Nook Color, you're losing a lot of the Nook features. However, this update that Barnes & Noble did, they got many of these features back. So um, that is one thing that is nice. Um, easy PDF reader. I want a little plug-in for that. It's only 99 cents. That is the best PDF app. Let me tell you. Looks like that. Easy PDF reader. 99 cents. I'm telling you, those guys, they do a lot of updates. And for the Nook Color, if you do any kind of a studying that requires that, PDFs, for example, that is the app to get. Unfortunately, it's not free like Adobe Reader. This is way better than Adobe Reader, let me tell you. So, for a big screen like this, Netflix is nice. The Nook app has the update, Easy PDF Reader. I'm, I'm advertising that for them. Phone My PC, my goodness, that is the best uh, remote desktop you can ever get. It's 15 bucks now, it used to be 10 It's probably going to get more expensive, but let me tell you, that thing, it is worth it. I think I showed that in my other video a long time ago, many months ago. But it's worth 
um, reminding you again because they've done some updates recently. That is a great, great app. Um, unfortunately, Google Reader still messed up. Um, I don't know if there's even going to be a fix for this. Everything's nice. That is until you get into the um, actual. So let's see here. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. I don't know what's going on. I do have Wi Fi. It just says loading. Um, however, I can tell you one thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me just check on one of these. Everything looks great, looks nice on a big screen. That is until you actually um, click on one of these. There it is. It doesn't scale properly. That's a issue that I, a lot of the apps um, work fine. This one is one that doesn't. And you'd want the Google Reader on a e-reader device. It would be nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't scale properly. That's like the only bug I really even know about in CM7 that, that's that's noticeable. Um, a couple people ask for my widgets. This is Calendar Pad. It's free. That's uh, Google Music, Flickster, Dictionary.com, Word of the Day, Fancy Widgets, Beautiful Widgets, CNN, uh, Google News and Weather Widget. Those are live scores from Yahoo Spectacular and IMDb. There you go. So anyone who's been asking about that, you now know what widgets I have. So also this uh, wallpaper in the background, it does not lag. Uh, I don't like live wallpaper because of the lag on the screens. But this one, I mean, the Nook is it's getting so much uh, quicker and smoother with what the CM7 team is doing. In fact, let me go to the uh, set CPU. Last time I was doing this, I think it was 1100 was a max, as you see. 1200, they've even raised that level. And I don't know, it's only 100 difference, but it it seems so much so much better than it was like a month or two ago okay well that's about it so I would recommend Zeme Launcher is great overclocking is better the Nook app has been updated for tablets um, Netflix now works for tablets hopefully yours again doesn't sound like the chip chipmunks like mine is there goes another UFO seems to be a lot of them so that's it so until I make my next video, I hope you have a good day.